Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a wear test on a new Dr. Jar BB cream. So I hope you guys enjoy today's content. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment down below because all that really helps out my YouTube algorithm and that really helps me to create more content. So this is the Dr. Jar's BB cream. It has zinc oxide, titanium dioxide in here, and also actinosate and artisolate. It is SPF 40, and it has a natural finish but buildable. And I got in the color light to medium. So let's open this package. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a really cute color. Okay, so this is how the bottle looks like. This formula also has niacinamide in here and niacinamide is really good for your skin. It helps your skin to boost the collagen production, um, prevent hyperpigmentation. And this is how the color looks like. It has a fragrance. The formula is very smooth and silky. I feel like it absorbs into my skin really fast here. The color might be a little bit dark for me. The finish is very dewy. I do like it. However, I feel it might be too oily for my oily skin. I'm going to wait to dry down a little bit and then apply the second layer to see if there's any pills. and no pills the second layer blended into the first layer really really well um, but my skin is starting to look a little bit cakey i'm going to apply a little bit of my color cyan eye sunscreen just because the dr jars bb cream looks so dark on my skin right now And today, I'm going to use my Ilia blush. And this is in the color Tenderly. This is my favorite brow gel and it's from e.l.f. So I'm going to wear this sunscreen for the rest of the day and see how it does. It has been two hours and this is how my skin looks like. The formula is getting a little bit oily for my skin. So if you have oily skin like me, definitely need to powder. It has been eight hours and this is how my skin looks like. This BB cream is definitely too oily for oily skin, but there's nothing can be fixed with a little bit of powder. So I'm just going to powder a little bit so you can see. There are a few things I like about this BB cream. I like that it has a very glowy, silky finish, and also the formula blends up really well and absorbs into my skin really fast. And it does look like I'm wearing a layer of foundation. Some of the things that I do not like about this BB cream, it's definitely a little bit oily for oily skin. It is something that you need to powder your face with. And also, after I apply the second layer on my skin, my skin feels a bit cakey. This color is light to medium. I feel like the color is more on on the medium side and the light side and so overall i think this is a good bb cream it's not something i'm going to reach for just because lately i have been enjoying something more on a lightweight side but i like to compare this bb cream to the rest of the bb creams that i have the first bb cream is my favorite bb cream and it is the tart bb cream here and this bb cream is not oily for oily skin i can wear this all day long and my face doesn't get this oily and also it won't dry out my face and the formula is not as heavy as the Dr. Jar's formula on my skin right now. And this is how the formula looks like. It's more lightweight feeling than the Dr. Jar's. I'm not sure you can see it here. And this baby cream also comes in a few different shades.
And the next BB cream is also one of my favorites. It is from MB Solar Sciences BB Cream. This formula is very lightweight and it's also not oily as the Dr. Jaws BB Cream. And it also comes in a few different shades. And this is how it looks like. It feels more lightweight. But the coverage is definitely not as heavy and not as full as the Dr. Jaws coverage. No. Uh, uh oh. It's a pirate. And the last BB cream is also one of my favorite BB creams and it is the Australian Gold BB cream here. Um, this formula is more lightweight as well and it doesn't have a heavy or high coverage as Dr. Jaws BB cream. And this is how it looks like. The formula is less thick and heavy like Dr. Jaws. And the one thing I really like about this BB cream is that it's water resistant for 80 minutes. It also comes in a few different shades as well. So in conclusion, I'm not going to add this BB cream to my favorites. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what is your favorite BB cream. I would love to try it out. And like always, I will see you next time. Bye.